Hello and welcome to the tutorial for installing the Vivitech ST7501 client software for connecting to the demo at apexccTV.com. The first step will be to download and install the client software. You cannot connect directly to our demo through an internet browser. In order to download, you can go to our website, apexccTV.com forward slash support. Once you've gone to that site, you may click on Downloads, then click on IP Cameras, click on Vivitech, and at the bottom of the page here, you'll see ST7501 Setup. Once you've clicked on that, you will click on Download. Once you've clicked on Download, you'll be prompted to either open, save, or cancel this download. You will click on Save in this instance, and I typically save to the desktop. You can save it anywhere you would like, but make sure you know where you've saved this setup zip file location to. And in the interest of time, I've already gone ahead and downloaded and saved the file. So I'm going to click cancel, but you would click save. And then we can exit out of Internet Explorer. And if you'll notice, right here on my desktop, you'll have st7501 setup.zip. When you double click on that, you'll either be prompted, you'll either see the window open inside of Windows, or in my case, I have WinRAR set up, and so it's going to open up instead inside of my unzip utility. All you need to do is extract, and in this case, I'm going to go to my desktop again and click OK. And now inside of this folder, I'm going to have the proper setup executable file. I will double click on that. You have to agree to the end user license agreement, the destination folder. The defaults are fine here. It's very important that you uncheck server. All that you need to do to connect to our to our demonstration is live client and the playback client. If you only want to view live view, then all you really need is the live client. If you want to view playback as well, you will need both of the clients. Then you will click next. As this runs through the install, you should receive a live client icon on your desktop and very shortly you'll also receive a playback client. Once you see completed up here you can click on close. You can close all the windows that you currently have open and the first thing that we'll do is go to the live client. In order to launch the live client you'll click on the live client icon that appeared on your desktop during the installation. At that point in time, you'll be prompted with the window. For the IP address, you're going to want to enter 74.7.157.184. Once again, that's 74.7.157.184. The user ID is guest, G-U-E-S-T, all lowercase, and our passwords change uh, approximately once a month to uh, protect our systems and if you call in to our sales or support line either one of them would be glad to give you that and the port you're going to want to leave at the default of 3454 at that point in time just click login once I have the window open there are a few things that I like to do the first is to click on the plus sign to the left of camera so that I can see all the cameras installed on my system the second is to bring up the split between my camera list and the PTZ control window so I have full view of that window and the third is to bring down the split between my video and event monitoring this enables me to have a larger video view as well as still see the most current events such as motion detection and, and alarms the next step is to click on Configuration, Client Settings, and View Settings. In View Settings, you're going to click down at the bottom where it says Keep Aspect Ratio. This will lock the aspect ratio of the cameras 
to the aspect ratios you're going to see in the display of your screen. This will keep your video from stretching out and looking funny. Once that's done, click OK.